Out here, the silence is absolute. There is no air to carry sound, no wind to rustle, no waves to break the hush. Only the endless, unyielding quiet of the cosmos stretching in every direction broken only by the faint hum of a distant traveler. A tiny, metallic craft no bigger than a small car tumbles onward through the immense star-dusted void. It is dwarfed by the scale of its surroundings, a fragile speck of human ingenuity adrift in a sea of darkness and light. This is Voyager 2, a messenger from a small blue world. Launched by human hands it carries with it the hopes, dreams and curiosity of an entire species, venturing farther than any object we have ever sent. Its golden record gleams faintly, a message in a bottle cast into the cosmic ocean. Etched onto its surface are greetings, music and images, a time capsule meant for any who might one day find it, a testament to our desire to be known. For nearly half a century, it has journeyed, its antenna pointed back towards a home it will never see again. Each year, it drifts farther, its connection to Earth growing ever more tenuous, yet it continues to call back across the gulf. The sun, once a blazing furnace, is now just the brightest star among countless others. What was once the center of its universe is now just another point of light, a memory of warmth in the cold. Voyager 2 is a ghost from another era, yet alive with purpose. It carries the legacy of those who built it, a silent ambassador from a distant past, still pressing onward into the unknown. It sails through a realm where the familiar rules of our solar neighborhood begin to dissolve. Here, the boundaries blur, and the space between stars becomes its new domain, a place few have ever imagined. The solar wind grows thin and weak out here. The charged particles that once streamed from the sun now barely touch Voyager as it drifts into the true emptiness between the stars. Each second it travels another 10 miles, adding to a journey that has already covered more ground than we can truly comprehend. Its odyssey is measured not just in distance, but in the sheer audacity of its mission. Voyager 2 is now crossing a boundary that is invisible yet monumental, leaving the sun's protective bubble, the heliosphere, and entering interstellar space. This is a frontier no human has ever crossed, a threshold into the vast unknown. Its sensors, built by people long since retired, continue to measure and witness this new frontier. Decades after their creation, these instruments still function, gathering data from a realm untouched by human hands. The data it sends back is a whisper across the void, each packet a precious jewel, telling the story of a journey from the familiar to the unknown. Voyager 2 reminds us that even in the vastest darkness a single spark of curiosity can light the way forward. So what is this incredible machine? Let's break it down and discover why Voyager 2 is one of humanity's most remarkable achievements in space exploration. Voyager 2 is a space probe, a robotic explorer launched by NASA in 1977. It was designed and built during a time when computers filled entire rooms, yet it was sent on a mission that would last for decades. Its original job, a grand tour of the outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, was made possible by a rare planetary alignment that occurs only once every 176 years, allowing Voyager 2 to use gravity assist to slingshot from one planet to the next. Equipped with powerful cameras, sensitive magnetometers, and a suite of scientific detectors, it's powered by a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, a nuclear battery that keeps it alive in the cold, dark reaches of space, far from the sun's warmth. After its planetary mission, Voyager 2 received a new assignment, the Voyager Interstellar Mission, pushing it even farther from home. Its goal, study the edge of the sun's influence known as the heliosphere, and, if it survived, to become one of the first human-made objects to enter interstellar space, venturing into the unknown. No one knew if its 1970s technology, built with early microchips and hand-soldered circuits, would endure such a harsh and unforgiving environment for so long. Voyager 2, along with its twin Voyager 1, are our robotic avatars, bravely venturing into the cosmos on behalf of all humanity, carrying our curiosity and dreams with them. They carry the golden record, a time capsule of Earth's sounds, music, greetings and images, carefully chosen to represent the diversity of life and culture on our planet, a message for any intelligence that might one day find it. More than that, Voyager 2 is a symbol of our ambition, our relentless curiosity, and our desire to reach beyond the boundaries of our world. Voyager 2 is proof of our hope to find our place in the grand cosmic scheme, and a testament to the enduring spirit of exploration that defines us as a species. 
The edge of the solar system isn't a solid wall. It's a shifting, invisible frontier sculpted by the power of our sun. Unlike the borders we draw on maps, this boundary is dynamic, constantly changing as the sun breathes and the galaxy pushes back. The sun sends out a continuous stream of charged particles known as the solar wind. This wind blows in all directions, forming a vast magnetic bubble around our solar system called the heliosphere. It's like an invisible shield, stretching billions of kilometers into space. This bubble acts as our first line of defense, shielding us from harsh galactic radiation and cosmic rays that zip through the galaxy at nearly the speed of light. As you journey farther from the sun, the solar wind gradually weakens, its strength fading as it pushes against the thin, cold gas and dust of interstellar space, the interstellar medium. Eventually you reach the heliopause, the outermost edge of the heliosphere. Here, the sun's influence finally gives way, and true interstellar space begins. It's the ultimate boundary of our star's reach. Crossing the heliopause means leaving the solar system's protective bubble, and entering the vast, uncharted territory between the stars. But before reaching the heliopause, a spacecraft must first cross the termination shock. This is where the solar wind suddenly slows down and heats up, colliding with the interstellar medium in a turbulent region. Voyager 2, one of humanity's most distant explorers, crossed this region and sent back invaluable data, revealing the true nature of our heliosphere's outer limits and the forces at play there. This frontier is a turbulent battleground where the sun's wind collides with the galactic wind. Here, forces from our star and the galaxy beyond meet and interact in a cosmic tug of war. Understanding this boundary is crucial for science and for life on Earth. It determines which cosmic rays and energetic particles can enter our solar system and reach our planet. By sending Voyager 2 through this mysterious region, we're able to study our solar system's shield from the outside, gaining a new perspective on our place in the galaxy. We learn how strong our heliosphere is, what shape it takes as it moves through the galaxy, and how it interacts with the cosmic environment beyond. It's like sending a ship to study the storm walls of a hurricane, hoping to understand the calm and safety of the eye within. The edge of our solar system is not just a boundary, it's a gateway to the unknown, and a testament to the sun's far-reaching influence. For years we pictured the heliopause as a smooth, gentle boundary, but Voyager 2's latest data has shattered that image. The probe has detected a massive, organized plasma wall just beyond the heliopause, dense, hot, and threaded with a powerful magnetic field. It's as if the heliosphere has a thick, fiery shell. Scientists now believe we're witnessing a cosmic traffic jam. The interstellar magnetic field piles up against the heliopause, trapping and heating plasma. This discovery forces us to redraw our maps of the solar system's edge. Voyager 2 has revealed the universe is always more intricate, more surprising, and more wonderful than we think. This plasma wall isn't just a detail. It changes our understanding of how solar systems interact with the galaxy. The heliosphere isn't a simple bubble. It has a complex structured shell, likely common to other stars as well. This extra layer could protect habitable worlds from dangerous radiation. For heliophysics, it's a game changer. Our models must now account for this hot magnetic structure. It helps us predict how the heliosphere breathes and protects life on Earth. The plasma wall's properties give us clues about the interstellar medium we're traveling through. By studying it, we learn more about our galactic neighborhood. Voyager 2 wasn't sent to find a plasma wall, it was sent to explore. And that's how breakthroughs happen. This discovery reignites our sense of wonder and reminds us that even our cosmic backyard holds profound secrets. Sometimes the most important discoveries come simply from looking where no one has looked before. Every major discovery shifts our perspective and this one is no different. Now with Voyager 2's discovery, we see our solar system as a complete entity with a complex fiery shell moving through the galaxy. It gives us a sense of place, a cosmic address with a more defined front door. We're not just floating in the void, we're in a dynamic relationship with the galaxy. Our sun's bubble pushes back against the interstellar medium, creating this newly discovered wall. This fuels our imagination. If our system has such a boundary, what about others? Do some stars have stronger shields, creating safer havens for life? The galactic habitable zone might depend on a star's shield as much as its location. Ultimately, this knowledge helps us see ourselves more clearly. We are a species that wonders, building machines to extend our senses beyond our bodies. Voyager 2's discovery is a direct result of that drive. 
It reminds us we are part of a much larger, interconnected system, living inside a bubble shaped by galactic forces. Why does this matter? Because exploration is in our DNA. We've always been driven to see what lies beyond the horizon, whether it's the next valley or the next star. Pushing the boundaries of knowledge is an investment in our future. Space exploration gives us a perspective we can't get any other way. It shows us our place in the vastness of space and time. The technology developed for missions like Voyager has led to breakthroughs that benefit everyone on Earth. The quest to explore space drives us to build a better future. Voyager 2's discovery of a plasma wall is a perfect example of why curiosity matters. The universe always has more surprises, more wonders waiting to be found. The journey of Voyager 2 is our journey, and it has only just begun.